okay, so I decided to do a second Q&A, believing I wouldn't get that many questions, and uh, I got a ton of questions. So if your question isn't in here, uh, it's probably because it was either a repeat of a question I had already gotten, or uh, I just didn't get to it. But rest assured, I read all of them, and I might go through later and reply to some of the comments that aren't included in this video. Uh, but for now, I'm just trying to make this manageable. <laughs> We've got a question from God asking, why are you so epic? It just comes with the territory of being a gamer. Lily News asks, why is Lily so cool? Or uncool. Lily is a mod, and my mods get preferential treatment. Big Dumb Idiot asks, how did you decide your name? Depends on what name. With Ash, which is the name that my friends and family call me, I chose it because I went through a list of like 40,000 names, including Winter actually. And then I asked my friends which one they liked the most, and Ashley won, and then I didn't like Ashley that much, so I just started going by Ash. For winter, it's because winter is the only season where I don't get sick, uh, like, constantly. Honeybee Animatics asks, do you have any favorite character to voice act? Sonic? This voice is just fun to do. I can't really explain why. There's just something about it that's fun. You're too slow! That wasn't really good, but you get the point. Adriana V, or Adriana 5. I'm gonna go with 5 because that makes you sound like a cool robot. It uh, has a few. Which do I prefer, cats or dogs? I would have said dogs like a year ago, but now probably cats. Which goes first, cereal or milk? I don't have milk in my cereal, so cereal. Uh, what is your favorite time of year? Winter, because I don't get sick and I like the cold. And if you had a genie, which three wishes would you ask for? I don't know, probably more wishes, more wishes, and more wishes, because no restrictions were given to me. Techno4AOV asks, how did you start and what do you use to edit your videos? How did I start YouTube? I needed a hobby and I was depressed, so I recorded a Let's Play. I re started recording a few Let's Plays for Mario Galaxy, Pokemon XD, and Animal Crossing. Um, none of which I ever finished. But I still make Let's Plays, and now I make these videos. As for editing, uh, at the moment I'm using Vegas, uh, that is Magix Vegas, I think 15? I hope to move on to Premiere someday, but I need to get a better computer first because Vegas is about as much as my computer currently can handle. <laughs> Ari asks, what's your favorite ice cream flavor or your favorite Girl Scouts cookies if you've had or like those? Um, favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla, and my favorite Girl Scout cookies are the, the, the peanut butter ones. I can't remember what they're called because I'm... Uh, I don't waste my money on Girl Scout cookies that often. Also, if you've watched any of the High School Musical movies, what are your favorite songs? Thank you. Um, give me a moment. I'm sorry, some, uh, what time is it from High School Musical 2? Only answer for me. S. Collins asks, ever had a pet? If so, what kind? Uh, at the moment, my family has two cats named Bacon and Willow. Bacon is a brat, and Willow is really cute and like a year old. Uh, and a few months ago, we had a dog named Stitchy, but unfortunately, he has passed away. What's your favorite song? That, that's a hard question to answer, but if you mean like song that isn't from a video game, uh, that's probably like a tie be between Be Calm by Fun and Enigma by Go Child. And what editing software do you use? Again, Vegas, don't remember what number. <laughs> Zachary Neifert asks, triangle? Square. Alism, Alism, I, I can't pronounce it correctly, I'm sorry. What would be your advice for new aspiring voice actors? First, stop using the word asp aspiring if you are if you want to do, be a voice actor, because the word aspiring is really just a way to make you feel inferior to other people who are doing the same thing. 
if you have tried voice acting, you are a voice actor. The word aspiring is just going to, like, make you feel inferior to other people, and that's just not a good thing to feel. Uh, practical advice would be to, like, stick to voices that are within your range. Don't try to, like, strain yourself to do voices that you can't naturally do. And, uh, even more practical advice would be to get, like, a decent microphone. I've been using a Blue Yeti for, like, almost a year now, and I'm going to be switching to XLR soon, which is preferable, but also way more expensive. So, Blue Yeti is only like a hundred or so dollars, and it works well enough for voice acting. Fred Dillon 05 asks, God or Pukacho? Who is the more powerful god? P Puka Pukacho. Pukacho is, because uh, I don't have to feel bad for supporting Pukacho. Mist E and like three other people with slightly different phrasing have asked, why are you so cute? And since Misty is my boyfriend, I can't really uh, deny it. I sure as hell can uh, deflect uh, and say that, no, you, bleh, <laughs> asks, how do I ask a question? Well, you simply just put a question mark at the end there, and then that's a question. The dude among men, G's, said, how do you feel about Cthulhu? I feel like he's okay. He's a decent enough guy. Jesus asks, what is the best mask name in your professional opinion? Uh, I really like the name Miles. Guess try and a rain I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. I'm doing my best. Says, what color is your hair? Have you dyed it before or would you ever dye it again? And I don't know why, but I have this idea stuck in my head that you have a lot of freckles. I have brown hair. I have dyed it before. I think I dyed it pink green and sort of blue at one point. It was weird. I don't know. I wouldn't dye it again, I don't think. Uh, at least not soon, but yeah, my hair is brown and I'm hoping it's gonna stay that way for a while. As for the other one, I really just don't have any freckles, uh, but I wish I did. Freckles are cute. And, uh, oh, are you sapphic? I'm a guy and it's none of my business, but I don't know. I just thought it would be a cute question. I had to look up what this means before I started recording, and apparently it's just a synonym for lesbian. So, no, but, I mean, girls are cute. I like girls. I just also like dudes sometimes. I do have a female lean in my pan, in my pan romanticism, if that, if that means anything. KCC asked, hmm. What's the stupidest misconception you've ever had? Lighthearted, that is. It's a misconception I had. Uh, yeah, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I can think of stupid misconceptions others have had, such as the IGN Xenoblade review, where they called Dunban and Rhine Duncan and Rain. But if it's a stupid misconception I've had, I'll have to think on that one. Blossom the Router asks, Any advice for an MTF whose parents are deaf to their child's wishes and never respects them, and how am I supposed to come out while in a difficult situation? I spoke to a doctor who told me he would sign me up for a clinic for free because insurance if I tell my parents. Oh boy. That is a really long question uh and one that i don't have like a concrete answer to uh i i did live with a parent who genuinely did not give a single shit about my gender identity for a while but i'm with a parent who does now uh and yeah I, this is like way too difficult a question for me to answer, but if, if you can get help from like any adult or like a counselor or a therapist who like would be able to help you with this, that's who you should go to. Because while I do try my best to help with people who comment about this kind of thing, this is getting into a territory where I'm not qualified to help, and I feel like if I tried, I could genuinely just make things worse. Steven Thompson asks, which do you like the most, Xenoblade 1, X, or 2? I like 2 the most, 1 the second most, and I have not played X, so I cannot give an opinion on X. 
Also, Xenoblade 1 spoiler warning. I'm not going to go into the part of this question that has a major spoiler, but essentially, do you think they should have done more with the faced Mechon? Uh, because the only unique ones are Metal Face, Zord Face, Nemesis, Jade Face, and Yeldabaoth. Um, I think they did enough with the face Mechon. I think the face Mechon, like, serve really well as antagonists through the portion of Xenoblade 1 that they are antagonists. So, I don't know. I feel like they could have done more with them, but... I don't know. I feel like what they did was enough, even if they could have done more, though, I guess, is the way I feel about it. Alright, sorry gamers, but this ended up being way too long to fit into one video that I'm editing on a day when I have work. So this is going to be split into two parts. Part two might be up tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but thank you to anybody who asked questions for this, and uh, yeah.